welcome back to my channel and today I have a lot of new makeup from Sephora. I have quite a few new purchases. This isn't even all of them. I just used what I could and I probably will be doing another one of these videos. Hopefully you guys don't mind a lot of new makeup videos but I have a lot of makeup from Marc Jacobs, Westman Atelier, um, Charlotte Tilbury, what else? Too Faced, things like that. Lots of new makeup and I do a full face with all of that stuff. And yeah, I came up with this look, so hopefully you guys enjoy, and yeah, let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so I have quite a few products to try out today. Most of these products are from Sephora, if not all of them, and they are all pretty new releases. Some of them might be a little bit older, or just like a couple, some of them might be like a couple months old, but pretty new stuff. So I guess let's just start with primer. And for primer, I'm super excited because I have this new Too Faced Plump and Prime Luxury Face Primer. Look at the packaging. I think it's so gorgeous. And yeah, I have not seen anyone talking about this. It's supposed to be like a plumping face primer. Um, I haven't watched any like videos or seen anyone purchase it. So it comes out kind of like a serum-y. And I'm just going to apply It, it is quite fragranced, which I guess I'm not super familiar with. Like, usually I use my Rare Beauty Primer, and I don't think that one has, like, a lot of fragrance. But, let's see. Feels really nice, and, like, you don't have to use a lot. It feels like a moisturizer, kind of, almost, or a serum. And let's see. Oh, it made me quite radiant. Yeah. It has a little bit of a, uh, like a tact to it, so that's nice. I think I'm going to, I have a couple of foundations, so I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. I think I'm going to go in with my new Marc Jacobs. Uh, this is a foundation and concealer. Do I want to do this? Yeah, I think I'm going to go in with this Marc Jacobs Extra Shot Foundation and Concealer. This product actually is supposed to have caffeine in it, I believe, to energize the skin which that sounded super interesting to me so it comes in kind of this like large almost concealer like is s container has a nice little large um dome foot applicator and i am in the shade light 120 so i think i'm just gonna apply it just a smidgen at first and another little new product I got is the new Beauty Blender. This is the, let's see, Bio Pure, I believe. Yeah, the Bio Pure Beauty Blender. This is biodegradable, I believe. I will link it down below so you can see all the details. But it is supposed to be like a environmentally conscious beauty blender. So that's super cool. I think a lot of brands have been doing that lately. Um, I think Ego Tools has one that I really want to try. So let's blend this in and kind of see what the foundation is doing. Alright, so far it's looking like a medium coverage. I am going to apply a little bit more as well as apply it under the eyes so we can kind of see if the concealer aspect of it. Okay, yeah, so far I'm getting a medium coverage. I think I'm just going to apply it where I need a little bit extra concealing, and we'll kind of see how that works. I'm going to do a little bit on the jawline and the chin, because that's where I tend to break out, as well as a couple more dots on the cheek to cover some redness. So far, the beauty blender is performing just like a different beauty blender. Sorry for the jingling, that's my cat. <laughs> She's decided to wake up and grace us. Alright, so I apply it under the eyes, I think it looks quite nice. Usually I go in with a corrector just to correct some bluer tones in here, but... I think it looks really nice. I would say it has like a pretty natural finish, maybe slightly dewy, but we'll wait and see how it dries down. 
covered up pretty nicely around my chin area and around my jaw covered up my redness pretty well I would say it's a pretty solid medium coverage you could probably build it up to full just because it built beautifully but yeah I really like it I think the, under my eyes it looks pretty nice I have really dry under eyes so it doesn't look like it's creping or anything to me so yeah all right, I think I'm going to let my foundation kind of settle a little bit and go on with the eyes. So for the eyes, I have the Smashbox Always On Cream Shadows. I have two shades of these, of this, and I have the shade Sepia, or Sepia, I forget how to say that word, in grayish. So similar to the little neutrals, a little bit warmer and a little bit cooler. And I am going to go in with both. So we're just going to see how these apply. I don't think I'm going to do an eye primer just because these are kind of like more liquidy creamy so we'll just see how they apply i'm going to start with the shade sepia or is it sepia i for some reason i think i used to know how to say that word and now I don't. i'm not sure what the best way to apply it was i'm just going to take this kind of like slightly more firm blending brush and tape it on my hand this is like the lighter more like neutral brown shade and let's just see how this goes and if we need to go directly on the eye with it we can but okay that actually seems to be working quite well even on my hand it seemed like it blended out really really nicely with the brush and i only applied a small amount and it seems to be going really really nicely so i'm just going to be blending that into my crease yeah these blended out like a powder would which is shocking that's kind of what it looks like and then I'm gonna go in with the grayish shade which is a more like taupey brown and I'm gonna apply this first with kind of like a more shady shader brush and then we'll blend it out as well doesn't seem like you need a lot of these products to go a long way I did a really small amount, so I'm thinking I'm going to build it up a little bit more. I'm just going to kind of messily stamp this on, and then I'll go back in with that same blending brush and blend over it. Doesn't seem like you have to be super, super quick. They do dry down, but not in a way where like it's going to be patchy and like not give you a chance at all to blend. It just seems like you have a little bit... Of time to blend it for sure before it dries down and gets all gross those are those cream shadows all applied I really like the colors I especially like that grays sh grayish shade it's kind of hard to say um, I think it looks super pretty nice cool tone brown I think the other shade really like neutralized it and made it a nice soft natural look um so yeah i like them they don't feel like super globby or sticky on the eyes they pretty much dry down to what feels like a normal powder eyeshadow but they do give you lots of play time and they blend out like a dream like even on the edges i was just kind of taking my finger and just like blending out the edges and it seemed to be perfect so really really like those all right the next thing i want to try out is also for the eyes and is the lawless bio glitter eyeshadow it looks like this and it has a nice glitter I did swatch this I think I mentioned this in a video like a haul video and it doesn't seem like this is like um an eyeshadow that has like the glitter finely embedded into it it is like more of a chunky glitter but I am excited to try it nonetheless so I think I'm just gonna put it like in the inner corner area Okay, yeah, it's kind of chunky, so like you'll have like globs where it applied and then like patchy and things like that, but it is super pretty. I have the shade Champagne Dreams, by the way. I believe there's like a rose gold as well. This would probably be pretty on a bare eyelid, I feel like, just because it is kind of sporadic and not super jam-packed, that it might make a really pretty kind of natural like you know just like kiss of glitter but i think that's really pretty nonetheless all right i'm gonna apply some mascara and lashes i don't think i have anything new for that 
I'm just going to be using my typical bite mascara and then some random lashes that I find so I'll be right back. All right I got my lashes all applied they're just some kiss holiday old holiday lashes um I applied a little bit of bronzer I applied a little bit of bronzer on my lower lash line and mas mascara and brow sorry I cannot speak and let's move on to the rest of the face. So I'm super excited to try these products. Both of them are from the brand Westman Atelier, which just now started um, carrying their products on Sephora. I believe the brand has been out for quite some time. But I went ahead and purchased two products. I purchased the Face Trace Contour Stick, and I got the shade Bistia, which I believe is the lightest shade. The packaging is super, super cute. It's magnetic, very fancy. And this is what the product looks like. Here's my color. Looks super nice. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it straight onto the face from the applicator. I like to apply my bronzer pretty high up. And I believe it's going to be like more of a contour, hopefully. Feels very like, um, very nice. I don't know what else to say to describe it. Very um, like glidey. It doesn't feel too stiff. I don't have to push like hard at all. And I'm just going to use my... Hmm. I'm actually going to take a brush. I'm going to take this... Um, I believe this is a Morphe M447. And I'm just going to kind of stipple it back. The shade from First Impressions looks like a really nice shade for my skin tone. Looks like a good mix of warm and cool, so definitely can be a contour, but without being too gray. Sorry if these little hairs are driving you crazy. I know that's kind of annoying. I just realized I have one earring in. Why didn't anyone tell me? I don't even know where the other one is. I thought I took both of them off. All right, I really, really love that contour product. I think it's looking so nice. I might even build it up a little bit more just because I feel like on camera, it doesn't pick up quite as well. But this shade seems like a perfect contour shade, but I don't need to add any like additional bronzer to it which is my favorite because I don't I don't like to use two products I usually just like have contour that kind of doubles as a bronzer oh yeah I really love that blended out super nicely I applied it all over and then blended it and didn't seem like any parts had dried down too quickly or anything oh I think that's like my new favorite contour definitely a win the next thing I have from them is their Baby Cheeks Blush Stick. So this is the, a pretty gray, like matte gray, also magnetic. Oh, it's upside down. And I got this shade Couchette, I believe. Couchette? I don't think that's how you say it. I think it's the first one. And it's like kind of like a pretty like nude shade. So I'm going to apply this as well. Same kind of consistency as the bronzer. And I'm going to take this little e.l.f. domed stipple brush and kind of just stipple it out. I like to apply it on my nose. Oh, that color is gorgeous. It's like almost a coral. It's kind of like a nude coral if I had to say. Like it doesn't pull too orange or anything, but it's also like so stunning and warm. Oh, almost a little rosy too. Just like a really perfect blush shade. Love that. Okay, Westman Atelier. Thank you. These products were kind of expensive, I will say that. I wanted to get more and I maybe will since these went so well, but I will say the Westman Atelier, Atelier makeup products are a little bit higher price. They're definitely a luxury face brand or luxury makeup brand. Next would be highlighter and I don't think I have a new highlighter. Let me check. Okay, I don't have a 
like super new highlighter so I am just going to go in with my Jaclyn Hill Valentine's Day mystery box collection this is the highlighter in the shade twinkle um I have only used this in that video that I um posted about this collection so I just wanted to kind of see the products a little bit better I'm just going to take this brush and I really like this shade. I like how it's pretty bright and white for my skin tone. It's also not too like crazy in your face. I'm gonna kind of go ham on it. I'm just feeling like a highlighter type of day. That's super pretty. I love those cheek products. That combination of the contour and blush. I'm in love. All right, and then I guess all that's left to do is lips. So let's see, let's see. I have this new product from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Hyaluronic Happy Kiss Color Balm. So these are kind of their new like lipstick slash balms that have hyaluronic acid in it. I got the shade Pillow Talk, the classic. The packaging is like super light. It doesn't have like a heavy sturdiness and this is what it looks like. Um, I don't know if it getting that at all I will say just like randomly this packaging seems a little cheap for yeah it kind of does right like holding it and everything it just seems kind of cheap compared to her usual products no hate so it goes up I guess okay yeah this just doesn't seem as luxury as her usual like lipsticks I have a lot of her lip colors and I don't know Let's see, I just have a little bit of balm left on my lips. Ooh. Alright, it did gets kind of messy after as you apply it, but that's okay. Alright, let's see really like the shade it is quite different than the pillow talk lipstick I would say it's a little bit more rosy rather than mauvey well yeah a little bit more rose really pretty they are a little sticky but kind of in like a good way not in like a super globby like mac lip gloss kind of way more of like a you can tell like it's like on your lips and it's gonna kind of stay there like it feels like it's gonna be long lasting um really really beautiful neutral like everyday lip color is kind of like a my lips but better shade in my opinion um but yeah so I feel like that is it I think that's all I have for you guys let's kind of talk about everything we tried so first thing we tried was the primer I feel like my makeup went really nicely over it um I obviously can't speak to like longevity effects yet but I feel like it performed kind of similarly to my rare beauty primer maybe a little bit less illuminating a little bit more dripping which is nice it felt really nice on the skin my next would be the Marc Jacobs extra shot foundation and concealer which I feel like looks very flawless and very nice gave me a nice medium coverage with a nice like natural finish in my opinion and I think it looks super, super good. Everything applied nicely on top of it. I didn't set it at all and it went nicely under my eyes. So that's a win in my book so far. I am gonna be doing a kind of an update video of like when I do these first impressions on new makeup. I'm gonna try to do more review videos where I kind of like do the same look or something like that and kind of give you my thoughts once I've tried these products a lot more. The next we had the Smashbox Always On Cream Shadows, which I loved. I think they were super easy to use and like very user friendly. If you've never tried a cream shadow, definitely would recommend. They had some really pretty colors that I think I will continue to pick up more. And yeah, and next was the Lawless Glitter, the Bio Glitter Eyeshadow from Lawless. Really, really pretty. A little bit more chunky and like gritty, but I think it worked. <laughs> I almost dropped everything but I think it went really nicely as like an eye topper and my favorites were probably the Westman Atelier cheek products the contour and the blush really super sleek packaging 
luxury price point, luxury brand, obviously, but I think the contour is my new favorite contour, and that blush is just so beautiful. It gave, like, a, almost like a slight radiance, and I thought it was really, really lovely. The highlight I have used before, but I think that Jaclyn Hill highlight is nice. I hope she comes out with some permanent ones. And then finally, I guess the Hyaluronic Lip Balm from Charlotte Tilbury. Really, really liked it. The packaging seems a little bit less on brand for her. Um, it just seems like her packaging is usually a little bit more luxurious. It's not a big deal. I still really like the product. I think it feels super, super nice and hydrating on the lips. And I'm obsessed with the color. This is almost like what I would like Pillow Talk to look like. It almost looks more... Yeah, it looks more like a My Lips But Better color, which is what Pillow Talk looks like on some people, but I am quite fair, so that might be why, but I really, really love the color. I love the shine it gives as well. It doesn't feel like it's going to wear off super, super easily, so probably will be throwing that in my purse as a really quick, like, My Lips But Better. It goes with everything lip color, and yeah, that's all I've got for today. So overall, I think this is a pretty successful little makeup haul slash first impressions really really liking everything so far and i will hopefully update you soon after i've been using these products you know for a good while i can form some real opinions on them and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching i will see you next time bye